So output of the charge controller we are given to the fuse and output had been connected to an a isolator. Now let's try to give the power and you see here we connected the voltmeter in parallel connection and ammeter in series connection and we are connected to the DC load. So the load I am connecting with the two loads one is DC load one is variable test rate. Okay. So now so this is directly connected load I cannot adjust directly whatever the power it is supplying directly it will be loaded. Okay. So now let's try to turn on the equipment. So how to turn on is just turn on the isolator. So turn on the isolator. So now you can see here this is fully loaded and this is also fully loaded. So now we need to calculate the voltage and current reading. Uh, just write down the first reading. So the voltage is nothing but uh, 13 volts. Serial number 1, 13 volts and current is 1.2 amperes. 1.2 amperes. Now I will take uh, some sample readings. So I am taking the current as a 1.5 ampere current is 1.5 ampere voltage is 12.6 12.6 next one I am taking the next uh, current reading 2 amperes 12.6 next one I am taking the current as a 2.5 ampere and current is voltage is 12.5 volts. Okay. So gradually load is increasing, the voltage will fall down. This is called voltage regulation. So load is increasing now. So we are taking the next current as 3 amperes voltage is 12.5 volts so if a short circuit current will flow in the bulb or the current will flow in this resistive coil current will flow only in resistive coil when you have two branches one is r is equal to 0 one is r is equal to 18 watts current will always flow in low resistive path so total current will flow in this and it will damage the rheostat so that's why you should not completely load so you may say it may be in parallel but which the current will flow current will only flow in low resistive path so now current is 3.1 ampere voltage of 12.4 volts next 3.2 ampere voltage of 12.4 volts so you can see gradually the voltage is falling why voltage is falling current is increasing this is called voltage regulation so voltage regulation is no load voltage minus full load voltage no load voltage is how much 12.7 minus full load voltage is how much 12.4 it's called difference of voltage it's called voltage divided by no load voltage you can get the percentage regulation it's called voltage drop created in this system so you can have more drop in this system okay so next current reading is 3.4 with a voltage of 12.5 so i'm not going beyond why because this may create short circuit so i'm coming back to the original condition okay so if you remove the load also so directly you'll get only one reading so i'm just removing the rheostat okay so i removed the rheostat now what is the original load right down only cfl load second reading second i mean the next set of reading so here what is the load the load is 18 watts Okay, so write down the corresponding voltage. Voltage is 12.6 volts. Current is 1 ampere. Now you multiply 12.6 into 1 ampere. How much? 12.6. Therefore, this is the how much amount of power it is consuming? 12.6 volts. This is how to demonstrate uh, the load. Okay, so this is you see here when you have an isolated system. When you have when you are in an isolated system, uh, so directly you can run the load. There's no need of uh, any appliances. So you can see here, directly we are generating the power there and we are storing the power in the battery and we are discharging the power. Okay. This is how to use an solar PV system in an isolated systems. Okay. There is no need of electricity board, there is no need of transmission line, everything. Just by using a solar panel of 100 watt, by using an electronic circuit board and by using an energy storage device and by using a small uh, DC load, we can give power to an poor people. 
in villages or those who don't have the power in other some other uh, locations you can directly supply the power by this uh, equipment this is all about uh, how to interconnect solar pv system with an uh, electronic control circuit with an dc load okay